Yeah. Hey, welcome to PCF, guys. Okay. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss about how to connect the uh, Tabular model with the Power BI as a live connection. Okay. So I have created Tabular model earlier. So I'm going to use the existing one. Uh, this is the Tabular model. Uh, so eight I have already created. So this one. So if you want to know like how to create this Tabular model and all. So I have created a video. So you can go and then watch that video base. Okay. So watch that video so that you will create, you can create your Tabular model also. For now, I'm going to use the existing one, how to create it, uh, how to connect the Tabular model with the live connection. Okay. So this is the, uh, you know, analysis service. We are going to connect with the analysis service with the live connection. Okay. So let's go here and then click on analysis service. Click on analysis service. Here we have to, we need to provide the server name. Okay. So this is my server name. So this is my server name. So let's go here, connect and then analysis service. This is the server name. Let's take a copy. So this is the server name. So let's take a copy and paste it, paste it here. So we'll provide the database name optional. Okay, we'll connect the database as, so what is that? Yeah, so click connect. And here is our tabular model. So let's click on this model and then click OK. Click OK. So it's it's connecting actually. So uh, there is no, you know, there is no data tab. Even here we have a model also, model tab also, but it's not, you know, uh, editable. Okay, we cannot change anything in the model actually. So we cannot change it. So you cannot add any other table and all. If you add it, it will move to the, you know, so this model is, I have already created in a, you know, um, a tablet model. So that is the reason this model is came. Okay. So if you want to see the model, like, so how it looks like and all. So this is the model. So this is created a star schema. So this is the model. Um, even uh, if you want to zoom it, a little bit, I can zoom it. Okay, so this is the model, guys. Okay, this is the model. So this is uh, look like this model. So even you can create a report, but you cannot edit the model. Uh, you cannot edit the model. So why? Because it, we are in a live connection. You can see so from here also. So there is a live connected, live connection connected. Okay. So suppose uh, like uh, uh, I will create few of the you know uh, reports actually. So a full date key and then uh, sales amount. Uh, sales amount with the bar chart you can go uh, with the bar chart I can go with the bar chart so this is one chart okay so this is each year wise the sales amount you can go and then uh, even you can go with the product wise sales also like you can go with the uh, product product from product table English products uh, and then uh, again sales amount so like this okay so model is ready just you have to create only um the visuals actually so that's that is um, so you can create so that is pretty much easy uh when you use the power bi so with the tabla model so it's already created even it's also created the tabla model uh so from the sorry visuals even you can you know go with the slicing and dicing just i'm giving the sample one guys okay just uh, you can go with the year uh, uh you know financial year as a slicer so you can go and then, um, so you can go and then use as a slice of that. Even you can go with the list. So list or drop down. Okay, so better you can go with the drop down. So it will not use much space. So like this, we can go and then uh, we can create a, and then we can filter the data. Suppose if you want to filter 2013 or 2012 data, you can go and then filter the data, see? It's filtering, it's working. So even if you want to see uh, the quarter wise, so let me uh, check that, okay, we can go with the hierarchy slicer. So let's uh, search here the quarter. So quarter, so financial quarter, you can go and then drag here. So it will create a hierarchy actually. So this is the hierarchy slicer. So if you go in 2013, there you will have the you know, quarters again. So if you want to see only quarter three, so it will show only quarter three uh, results actually. So see, so like, this is again our financial year, okay? Financial year and financial quarter. So that is the reason it's showing the January months. Okay, like that. This way we can create a you know 
So we can connect to the Tableau model and then we can create this and then we can publish into Power BI service case, okay? This is actually, we can connect the Tableau model this way. So, so when we connect the Tableau model, uh, so as a Power BI developer, if you involve in developing the, you know, uh, Tableau model, uh, so you can able to work, but if you uh, don't know like how to, you know, work with the Tableau model, like, uh, so if you just to use the Tableau model, this is the way we can connect and then we can create the reports. Okay, hope you, uh, hope this uh, video helps. Okay, so if you want to know really how that, uh, you know, model has been created and done, so there is a separate video. So you can follow, you can follow my uh, SSCS to tutorial. Uh, recently I started. Okay, you can follow that case. Thank you so much. Yeah.